All right, here we have um, as our third case. Uh, well, remember, we've been talking about horizontal and oblique asymptotes. So just kind of as a quick review, we talked about if the power of x was the same on top and bottom, we have a horizontal at the ratio of those coefficients. So here we had a horizontal at y equals 3. Um, we also talked about what happens if the highest power of x is larger on bottom. In that case, we always have a horizontal at y equals 0. For the other case, the last case, then the power would be larger on top. In this instance, we always have an oblique asymptote at the quotient, or whenever we divide and we ignore the remainder. So let's go through and let's do this and um, we'll see how that works. So I'm going to take negative x squared. Now I don't have an x term, so remember we have to put in a 0 placeholder, plus 1, divided by x plus 5. We're actually going to do the long division. So x times a negative x would give us the negative x squared and negative x times 5 would be minus 5x. Now remember, instead of subtracting, we're just going to change the signs and combine. It's the same thing, but it makes it easier. So that should cancel out your first term. 0x plus 5x would be 5x. Drop our next term and continue. x times a positive 5 would be 5x, and 5 times 5 is a positive 25. Now again, we change our signs and combine, so this would give us a remainder of negative 24. We ignore the remainder when we talk about the oblique asymptotes. So we can just simply say we have an oblique asymptote at the line y equals negative x plus 5.